Have you ever wondered what it's like to work on an Engineers Without Borders project? To learn. To grow. To make an impact. In January 2023, Cornell University's chapter of Engineers Without Borders traveled to Sanuka, Tanzania. Since 2018, the team has been working on an irrigation system pilot project for the local community. For the first time since the COVID-19 pandemic, the team made the journey to Sanuka. From JFK, with a short layover in Amsterdam, we made our way to Dar es Salaam. After a full team reunion in Dar es Salaam, a good night's rest, and an amazing meal in the morning, we started our journey to Kigoma. Upon arrival, we met Edward the director of the NGO we are working with, and began our two-hour drive to Sanuka. We picked up SIM cards and experienced local food, culture, and a ferry ride on our way. Sanuka was beautiful. We met the locals, explored the town and marketplace, had fun with the kids, and made nightly walks down to Lake Tanganyika, one of the world's deepest lakes. In the mornings, after a hearty breakfast at the guest house and a team debrief, we headed to the fields. We assessed project components that we had implemented remotely the summer before, including a solar panel array, submersible water pump, and storage tanks. We spoke with farmers, discussed system design with water committee members, and collected soil and elevation data. After a long day out in the fields, we returned back to the village to speak with all those involved with the project, including community members, our partner NGO, and the Water Committee. After a seven-day stay in Sanuka, filled with fun, adventure, and growth. It was time for us to start our journey back home. 
We stopped by our partner NGO's vocational school and spoke with the students, enjoyed our last meal, and headed to Kigoma Airport. Though it was a short stay, the experience was unimaginable.